How often do children follow in their father's footsteps and achieve the same results? I think our today's hero pretty much succeeded in that. Well, at least in terms of physical characteristics, for sure. David was born in 1974, back when Bolo Yang was not quite as popular as he would become later, especially after the movie Bloodsport. By the way, we have a video on this film, check it out. From an early age, Bolo taught his son to train. At the tender age of five, he was doing gymnastics. And at the age of seven, David's father sent the boy to karate classes. And then, some time later, his life changed its direction. The boy had dreamed of becoming like Bruce Lee, but when David was 12, he had already started to compete in bodybuilding, and it seemed like his dream of pursuing martial arts had faded away. Admittedly, the boy looked very impressive. Clearly, the genetics of his father did play a role here, as David progressed very quickly under his guidance. It wasn't long before the boy started winning some major titles, but his career came to an abrupt end. Sooner or later, when training with heavy weights, various injuries are bound to happen. David was no exception to this rule, and eventually he injured his knee. He decided to quit bodybuilding, as his health was a bigger priority to him. After some time, he lost all the now unnecessary muscle mass to feel more comfortable moving around. However, he did not give up training. His body, while not being quite as huge as it used to be, has now become way more functional. He works out every single day, switching from CrossFit to bodybuilding. As of today, David is 47 years old. He is engaged in coaching activities, working with professional basketball players, soccer players and mixed martial arts fighters. He also has a channel on YouTube, where he shares his workouts. In terms of movie career, David also followed in his father's footsteps. He shoots in various projects from time to time, but no big role so far. Well, to each their own, I guess. At the end of the day, not everyone should be a famous actor like David's father, who, I should remind you, still sometimes appears in movies, which are, however, not quite as famous as they used to be. And that is all for today. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel and write your comments down below.